Hey guys, welcome back to another what's for dinner video. I was gonna do a what's for dinner and vlog, but I had too much to get done today. And when I vlog, things take longer. So we're gonna do a quick and easy dinner for tonight. I am gonna make it in, I'm gonna transfer it to the slow cooker. So we're gonna do a taco soup. I'm gonna be combining a couple recipes. So I'll try to keep track and like let you know exactly what I'm gonna be doing um, because I don't have an exact recipe to link for you. And I think this can be done way earlier in the day and be uh, in the slow cooker on low or on high or just do it on the stove top. I'm getting started a little bit late. It's almost 4.30, but we probably won't be eating dinner till more like nine or 9.30 because we have small group tonight. And then we'll probably come home and like shower before we actually eat. But my goal is to have it fully ready and my kitchen cleaned up. So that all we have to do is serve ourselves and then put our dishes in the dishwasher, so. That is my goal. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna cook up one pound of ground beef and I'm gonna cut up one onion into pretty small pieces because that's my preference. I'll also add a little bit of garlic in at the end and just get that all cooked up. Like I said, you could definitely do this whole thing on the stove if you wanted, um, but I think you could also do most of it in this, the slow cooker. You just can't really brown ground beef. Um, in that, and you don't have to do the onion on the stove if you don't want, but I personally only like my onion if it's really, really well cooked. So for the most part, aside from this, it's gonna be pretty much a dump and go type of recipe. So let's get going with this yummy soup recipe, which is going to be perfect for a cozy fall day or for those days where maybe you're running around with your kids' school events or sports practice, or you just have stuff going on and it's a busier day. This one is an easy recipe to pull out. All right, so for this recipe, you need taco seasoning and ranch seasoning. And I make my own, my ranch is done, and my taco's almost done. So since I have to make them, I decided I would share them with you. They're very easy to do, and I usually make a pretty decent amount. You could definitely double or triple this, but here is the recipe for the taco seasoning. It is a half a cup of chili powder, a quarter cup of onion powder, an eighth a cup of cumin, one tablespoon each of garlic powder, paprika, and salt, and I like to just store mine in a jar and keep it in my spice cabinet. And we really, really like it. For our ranch dressing mix, I use a half a cup of dry buttermilk, one tablespoon of dried parsley, and then one teaspoon each of dried dill weed, onion powder, minced onion, garlic powder, and salt. And if you'd like, you can also add in a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. Once again, I store it in a jar, shake it up, and I do keep the ranch seasoning mix in the refrigerator because of the cultured buttermilk. I've been making both of these seasoning mixes for years now and really, really love them. I will have that was both typed out down below for you in case you are interested. All right, so this is pretty much cooked. I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. I don't have a lot left in here. So I'm just gonna dump this in and then I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here and swish it around to get all the rest of that out. We have to add liquid and stuff anyway, so. I just want to get all of the onion, or onion, all of the garlic and all of the juices in there. I think at this stage, if you were doing this in the crock, like if you wanted to, you could wait to do the rest in the crock pot, but I'm going to let it cook for a couple minutes in here with our taco seasoning and ranch seasoning. So I'm adding what I believe is like the equivalent of a packet, which is three tablespoons to my knowledge. So that is what I'm doing. The cultured buttermilk is a little on the sticky side. Okay, we're gonna just let this cook for just a couple minutes with the seasonings while I get everything together. 
to transfer everything to the slow cooker. All right, so I'm going to grease my slow cooker really quick. Don't even know if that's actually necessary, but it's what I did. So I've got our ground beef, onion, garlic, and seasonings. I'm also gonna add some crushed red pepper flakes. I should just start adding that to my taco seasoning because I add it to any time I do anything taco related, but just gonna add in some of that. All right, we got one can of corn, not drained. So we have all the liquids. Let me raise my camera up just a touch. I'm doing one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes with all of the juice. I'm also gonna do one can of what would be Rotel diced tomatoes with green chilies. Now, tell me, do you drain and rinse your beans? I always do. And I feel like most people say yes, but then I'll see people do it and like it doesn't matter. So tell me what you do. I have one can of pinto beans, one pan, can of black beans. I am going to drain and rinse these before adding them to the slow cooker. All right, I just wanna see what we've got here. All right, beef broth would be ideal, but I have an open carton of chicken broth. So there should be two cups left in here because I only used half of it the other day and I don't have any beef broth. I have beef bones that I need to make a broth with that I haven't. And I guess depending on how liquidy you want it, you could add more, but I think that's gonna be really good. Now I'm gonna put this on high for the next hour, hour and a half until we leave. And then I'll move it to low. Everything's really cooked that needs to be cooked but I want to get everything just kind of happy together. If I was doing this on the stove, I'd probably just let it, um, I don't know, I'd probably let it simmer for like 20 to 30 minutes. But that is it. I will shred up some cheese so we have that for when we get home and also we'll have some sour cream and like some tortilla chips on the side. Anyways, that is it. I'll let you know what we think. All right, so I'm actually just gonna move this to keep warm because I have that option. It's been on for like an hour and 20 minutes on high, and it probably like two hours would be fine, but I think the keep warm will be enough since everything's cooked. We're headed out and I'm excited to come back and eat later. All right, so we are home now and it is perfect, all ready to go. Topped it with some cheese, some sour cream. I'll be eating with mine with a few tortilla chips as well. And we'll let you know what I think about it. The soup came out really good. My husband said he really, really liked it. I liked it as well. I'm not a huge bean and tomato fan, but the flavoring was really good and I did really like the soup. He really liked it, he kept saying that. Um, so yes, definitely recommend it. I will probably try to type out down below what I did since I didn't exactly follow a recipe. Um, but you can totally just make adjustments based on 
what you like. You could use different beans. Like you don't have to use pinto. You could use kidney beans or whatever. Anyways, good recipe. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time.